Hello all, Alex here. Welcome to my hobby vlog. So it's Christmas Day today. The wife's working, so I thought I'd uh, jump back on the hobby bench and uh, and get some stuff done. So let me uh, show you what I've been working on this morning. So this is the um, the LMG for the US Airborne Infantry. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I'm quite proud of this one. So um, I'll talk you through what I've done on it. So it's uh, from the Band of Brothers starter set. So you get a, um, one of the round bases. And, uh, and I took the two guys off the sprue. Uh, I kind of uh, um, altered it because I think I got the legs wrong on it. I think this leg here, that one there, the, the crooked one, should have been on here. And then I could have got in closer with the guy on the left to feed in the uh, the, the ammunition, uh, but I didn't uh, I didn't do that because I didn't see the instructions for it. So I kind of glued them down and and I've done them that way. So I've had to extend the actual ammunition going into the LMG. So um, but anyway, getting back to it, I mean I've done that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the, I'm quite proud of the basin, so I kind of put a little bit of detail on here. So there's a knife just on the sandbags. The sandbags I made out of modelling clay. I could have put a bit of fabric into those. That would have looked better. I put the old wood uh, pigeon on there. He's going to fly off as soon as that LMG opens up anyway. Um, and then another ammo box bit of a kind of a bush and maybe some reeds uh, a little bit of barbed wire around it highlighted the little rocks little stones if you like it's only out of the garden that is yeah and then I've gone with the M42 uniform colour Yeah, so uh, fairly pleased with it. This how it's gone, and then I've, I've kind of spent a lot of time on the faces, but you can't see them because they're kind of uh, crouched down. But yeah, all I got to do is put this. Um, This bandage on that blue tack there onto one of their helmets and and that is finished all I've got to do then is uh, <coughs> varnish it and I can say that's done so uh, yeah quite pleased with it so the colors I use for this then um, I used Vallejo German camo beige for the jackets and then I, I used US field drab for the trousers and I've done the webbing in dark sand um, I spent a lot of time on Google googling up the colors <laughs> and you get different variations and then uh, for the patches I'll bring this guy over here the patches a couple of people have pointed out that the patches I did on this guy were too small so they said it kind of comes from mid thigh down to the top of the boots so I revisited this guy and uh, I used German, I think it's German field, German uniform for the green on that, and that kind of looks pretty good, that's the third attempt, because I used field drab the second time, and then uh, kind of a, a lightish green the first time, and I think that's about as good as I can get it to the photos that I've seen, yeah, so I'm quite pleased with him. Someone suggested I put a rifle on his back, which I've done. 
Um, so we could be used for rifles. Yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to I'm going to do a um, an officer. The only thing is the officer is going to have to have a backpack on because of that. But so I'm going to do an officer next. I've got three more over there that I'm working on. I've done all the heads over here. I haven't actually put the detail into them. All I've done is put the flesh colour. Uh, Based them and put the flesh colour on. So this guy here will be the, the officer. That one there on the right. Uh, I've got another guy with, with a Mohican there. I might put him on. Um, and then I'm going to carry on doing the uh, US infantry. I've ordered the decals from Warlord because... Um, I thought they came with a kit, but when, when I looked through the kit, they didn't have the decals for it. So, uh, if they're supposed to come, I didn't get it. But on the instructions, it does say decals. Anyway, they're on their way. So, uh, that's where I am so far. Um, what I'll do is, as soon as the wife has finished work, I'll pick her up and I shall get on the Baileys and have a good time tonight. And, uh... We'll have our Christmas Day tomorrow on Boxing Day. So, for everyone that's watched this, thank you very much. And thanks for all the support on getting on Facebook and on the, the videos and people, people subscribing to me. It really is appreciated. Have a great Christmas, everyone, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one.